Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and today we are going to be looking at an update to one of my pet decks. This is the deck that last month, the month of August, I played a ton of uh, and got top 1200 with. Uh, this is my Is It Niv Mizit Perrin deck in the historic best of one. There's a sideboard which uh, I'll take a look and I'll update it for her historic horizons. Um, but in the past version, I played kind of a mid rangey tempo version. We have Prismari commands. Brazen Borers, Bone Crusher Giants. Uh, we got a bunch of new cards from the set uh, that I want to try. Before we had a snow package for Frostbite and um, yeah, for Frostbite. But now we have Unholy Heat, which is two mana damage for one mana, but it also has the ability to scale to six damage if you have Delirium, which is four or more unique card types in our graveyard. Uh, so we're not super reliant on the snow mana. We had at times like we didn't have enough snow to hit three damage. Um, and then we have Static Discharge, so two mana, uh, basically three damage to your choice of target, and then it gets a, a perpetual counter on it, and then each time it does X plus three for the amount of counters on it. So this is a way we can scale up and deal with like angels and stuff like that over time. We also have Archmage's Charm, very, very flexible card here. So three blue mana, counter a spell, draw two, or gain control of target non land permanent with CMC one or less. Uh, we still have our package of Anger of the Gods, Sweltering Suns. The split here is because in matchups where we don't want the Sweltering Suns, it cycles itself. Uh, we cut down on the number of Prismari commands we're playing because we do have the Archmage's Charm. And I'm trying a different package today. We used to play Chandra 6, Awaken Inferno. Uh, instead, I wanted to try out a Torrential Gearhulk, Magma Opus, uh, Goblin Dark Dweller package. So Dark Dwellers came in the most recent... Uh, Jumpstart, this is a, a card from, I think, Shadows over in Estrad, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it does its best kind of gear hall compression for uh, instants or sorceries, 3 CMC or less, which happens to be pretty much everything in our deck. Um, so we can get back sweepers. This also has 4 toughness, so our sweepers don't get it. We can flash back the discharge and get another counter on it, unholy heat, stuff like that. So as we're kind of churning through the deck, and really the star of the deck is Niv Mizzet. Once you get it out, whenever any player casts an instant or sorcery, uh, you get to draw a card, and whenever you draw a card, you get to deal one damage to any target, so it's like Machine Gun. Uh, one question that does come up a lot, why are you not playing Curiosity? Curiosity is an insta-kill combo uh, once you get going. Yes, but Curiosity is a card as well that when you don't have Niv, is a dead card in your hand. It's not doing anything in these matchups and really doesn't offer much kind of play outside of that. Uh, most of the time when you untap with Niv, you pretty much win the game anyways. There's a lot of ways to cycle through your deck. Uh, something like Archmage's Charm, if you draw two, gets an extra card off the cast, so you can deal three damage that way. You get your draw for upkeep. There's a lot of ways around it. Uh, mana base, we did switch it a bit. Um, I added in the Spiral Buff Clanals, uh, some Sulphur Falls, and some Fable Passages. It may be correct. I want to play around with these numbers, so this mana base is subject to change. Really, Hall of the Storm Giants is the standout creature line in these types of decks. Um, had a game against Jeskai just now playing a Demir deck where this pretty much carried me. Uh, and then the Fable Passages is just another way to enable Delirium as well in the deck. Um, I want to see how consistent we actually need these Fable Passages or if things like Prismari can just naturally get us. We have Instant Sorcery, Creature, so this it is a way to get a land into the graveyard along with Prismari Command. So we'll try it out, see how it goes. We only have the one artifact. Um, a card you can try out as well in these types of decks. Um, and it might be right. We'll see if Bone Crusher is worth it over just going back to Shark Typhoon um, in place of this and just playing the Prismari commands as a four of. Um, that might be better actually because so Prismari command loots us. We get rid of the wrong half. I'm just kind of chatting through it right now. Uh, and Shark Typhoon is an enchantment. Um, and it just kind of fills a nice void, gives us early card draw if needed. So we'll give this a go, see how it plays. Um, for reference, if you're interested, uh, this is my previous version that we finished top 1200 with. Um, so we were using Think Twice, Hieroglyphic, just kind of ways to cycle through. Um, the one kind of negative with this deck was you struggled at times of just keeping card parity if you didn't have Nivo. So I want to see how Archmage's Charm kind of fills that void, just being a way to draw two organically for three mana uh, at instant speed. We also have Gearhulk Magma Opus, 
Magma Opus and Prismari Command both can create treasures. That gets out our Niv earlier. Playing Affinity 989. Let's see if Affinity is on Affinity. As always, if you do enjoy the content, it would be greatly appreciated. As always, if you can drop a like, comment, and subscribe. They are on Luris. This hand is super reasonable against Luris. We could tempo them for a couple turns. Okay, they're on counters. Sure. Mm. So I can unholy heat this. I think we're just gonna do that for now. I could tempo them a couple turns with these lapses and we're only taking two damage a turn. Perfect. So I can lapse and then lapse on Holy Heat. Mana efficiency wise, this is correct because next turn I can do both. Them also redrawing the same card is good for us. I'm gonna actually just Magma Opus as a treasure this turn. I do need to kill this. Okay. We can have Wild Shape back. Okay, Spire Bluff. So this will force them to use their Wild Shape here. Oh, perfect. So we ambush here. And then I have the Lapse for the Luris. We are just getting closer. Can Magma Opus a treasure? Mm. I think we need to do this. I was hoping for Luris to be on top. We need to be cautious. They can pump that up in a way. Prismari command, which is nice here. So, I can do this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can Opus if we hit a land. I think I want to try to find a Sweeper though. I know this is going to get countered. With the Wild Shape, but really what I'm trying to do is entice them to play it out now. Uh, so that way I can protect it otherwise with us having anger uh, Another Prismari is fine I think Put two on that, that's fine. 
So I can do this, deal to, that goes to three. I think we're just gonna go to our turn. Perfect. Okay, so get rid of this. Ochre Jelly. Again, I think let's just be mana efficient. Sweet. So we can just gain control of this. Seen one wild shape, so I think we're just going to... Let's hold off. They might pump it up more. Perfect. I'll have that. Now we slap down Niv. And now we just start machine gunning their board. So I can make Luris bigger. I think we just hold on to this now. I just need to start chaining some spells together. This ochre jelly can serve as two blockers. That's really unfortunate. Two lines in a row. And that is a lot of lines. So I can block with Luminarch another turn. Exile their graveyard now. So they can make Luris for toughness. So Static Discharge would be good. Oh, that's... Why didn't we get... Oh, if it has two or more counters. Ah. So with Luris, you can only cast things for two CMC. Jeez. Flood is real. Torrential kind of gets us out of this. I can Magma Opus on upkeep. Perfect. So 
Magma Opus, Resolve. Deal four. Top, top. Perfect, found Niv. Should allow us to stabilize. So getting rid of this. Seeing the value here. And then we just close this thing out real quick. So if we don't draw like 15 lions, we do all right. Okay, need to be mindful of that. Oh, I guess I could have pinged there. That's a minor oversight on my end. So I'm actually going to keep both of these back just on the off chance they do have declaration. I don't want to get burnt out by that. We can pretty much kill them next turn. 26 lions may be too much. Ten, eleven. So even if they don't block, oh no, I kind of screwed this up. I need a non. Okay, that saves us. Okay, that was bad. I misjudged because they can stay alive at one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we have lethal. We draw a card. My bad. Didn't mean to BM. All right, stole that one. Top deck gear Hulk. May have a few too many lines. May want to try them in here. Let's run this one again, see how it plays out. And this is the fun part. Like you're going to be testing out the, the game, see how it plays out. We didn't have a sweeper early. Atomsk, 319. This hand will not suffice. This one will. Uh, in the dark, I'm going to put Archmage's Charm back. We don't have proper mana. Hopefully this is like Elves. Ask and you shall receive. So we can't counter anyways. They might think we're Tybalt's trickery. Okay, that's probably worth the sweeper here. Can I wait one more turn? No. Because this also makes the Lords worse. So 
So they do have an opening here. They have another Allosaurus. I was hoping to get a little bit more out of them. Okay, War Master's fine. Just Spara. So we can Niv the following turn. This is troublesome. Because they Niv before, if they get enough Lords, they can kill me through it. I don't think we can cast Niv this turn. It's too dangerous. I need a sweeper. Okay, I gotta do it this turn. The problem is like I can Coco them or like lapse their Coco. Yeah, they had the lords. It's fine. They got me. I guess the downside, now they have the haste. Yeah, that was a game we just didn't draw what we needed. We drew the Niv, but we weren't really able to slip it in. With them having Coco, their turn with the Arch Druid would have been too impactful. We needed to hit like a Prismari command or something. If I bounce the Coco, they can still do it at instant speed. They hit a Lord, so we are dead either way. So it doesn't make too much of a difference. If one goes first, I'm going to do this for red mana. They on Trickery. Okay, Spire Bluff, we don't need to. Okay, they are in Vespalark combo. Well, Anger of the Gods is very good. So we can wait one more turn. Because they can't combo this turn and then I can catch them for one more I also have this prismari command so in a pinch I can just hit like cruel celebrant this exiles so they also don't gain the life That's Collected Company. Ooh, Archmage Charm. Okay, so we're going to wait one more turn here. I'm going to counter their... have to counter this. The question is, do I do this? Kill Cruel Celebrant? Yeah, I think that's what we got to do. So deal to create a treasure. Now I know we have anger, but the reason I'm doing this is because now their their hand basically has to be they need to draw land or the combination of cards need to be Davriel's Withering, Vespalark, and a land. If they have all three of those, 
they get me. It's kind of annoying. That's actually very good. So they get some drains on me. But we're just a land away now. I also can just do Gear Hulk Magma Opus. Just doing this to speed things up. We have to burn through our treasure, so we're like a turn slower, but. So I can keep the counter up if needed. They could Coco. Okay. Opponent's seen enough. So the backup plan seems to be working nicely here. Archmage's Charm, the Magma Opus, just kind of fueling us in that regard. So unlike the Elves matchup, we saw our Sweeper there, we saw our removal. Run one more with this, see how it plays out. So it was 1800, and then we played another game, and now I'm 98%. Um, we'll keep this. I think I just want to play this tapped. This might be something I'm discarding. Yeah. Kind of annoying. They have Thalia. Thalia is like the bane of my existence for this deck. So their taxing draw is done very well to start off here. I'm actually going to gain control of it. You can draw a card, but... Oh, you know what? I needed it to resolve. That was my bad. My mistake. Okay, so we need to get rid of the Thalia. Uh, deal to draw to. I think we need to get rid of Luminarch. Ooh, Anger of the Gods. Yeah. Uh, actually, we're probably going to get rid of Dauntless, Spire Bluff. See what they name with the Dauntless Bodyguard. 
another Thalia. Prefer if you didn't. So they can name their Dauntlesses here. So I could Anger here. That leaves me, I take five. I could also just Niv here. Because Dark Dweller, I can't really do too much with it. Like, I could Prismari Command, but it doesn't do much. Let's see, be beat a Niv. That, um... That does stuff. Wow, that like roundabout way gets me. Then they tax me. So I need Goblin here. Was not expecting Kudra. Okay, and that bodes well. Anger here. They could have sacrificed and killed my Dark Dweller. Where's Mario be nice? Just another way to deal. Wisp a squad. We have Static Discharge here. I need the instant speed here. In case they have a, a Lord or something. Just hanging on to the land, we can discard with Prismari. So they can exile what we get, but it gives us some filtering. Oh, no. Land, land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're actually short of mana here. So I'm dead to a Lord effect. Dead if they have like another Kudro. I think we just need to take a chance here. Would have loved like instant speed there.
Ranger Captain. Oh, the Giant Killer. And then they play the Giant Killer and they tap me. I need Anger of the Gods here. Or a Sweeper, Sweeper one time. They took a gamble there by not Flew too close to the sun there. Couldn't really do much. Didn't see what we needed. I think we might... I might want to go back to think twice. It's something we can d discard early. And we can flash it back. What we're running to is the issue where... Mind you, we did get taxed like hell. That's a tough matchup. Let's try this out. I want to make it seem like we have something for Narset. There is playing Expressive. We can go back to that. I never liked it in these decks because there wasn't instant speed, but... Perhaps we do it. Um, let's do this. We do need to find one more red source. I, I can't really counter right now. Or like draw cards because I don't have an answer to Teferi that would come down. Having our hull out is good. Next turn I can steam vents and then we can have Niv. With expressive I'm not really sure what we'd cut. I did like Dark Dwellers that game. Static Discharge is also nice. I don't know if they're on the Gear Hulk version yet. In case they are, we have this Vortex. This also, if we get enough mana, can just cycle with a Niv out. Budget reasons. So generally speaking, you don't want to be first to the Niv because then they can sweep or they can play a Teferi and tuck it, and then you're kind of behind. So if I can get to 9 mana and then have protection up will be nice. Don't care too much about that. I have Anger of the Gods if needed. Get some utility out of this card in this matchup. So I can gain control. If 
They can memory lapse it from me. I think we... Because the problem is with the shark, I can't attack into it. It most likely have memory lapse, but I'm forced to do this. Dovin's Veto. Okay, we drew Prismari. Oh, opponent. Should we tell the opponent? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hall of the Teferi Slayer. So hopefully they don't slam down another Teferi. Okay. Don't care right now so much about Narset. This could potentially also keep them back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for the first Niv, so I think this turn, we're just gonna do Anger. And then I can cycle this on their turn, trying to find a land. I basically want to have a spell that if they minus with Teferi, I can hit them with that. Usually in these matchups, you just want to keep Narset at 5. You have 7 cards in hand. They might go hard cast Shark. Be a bit of a problem for us. They go to fairy. I know my responsibility. I guess I should have cycled this in case I found memory lapse. That was a good one. That gets them tapped out on their Archmage charm. I guess I should have waited on that. In part because with Niv, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, would have given me a spell guaranteed. Yeah, that might have been a little ambitious. Could have nived and then on their upkeep done uh, Unholy Heat to draw a card. They let Teferi die. Can I have a land? I'm expecting potentially Wrath of God. Sure. So Static Discharge. Doesn't exactly work. I 
I think we just do this. They can't counter this turn. I get, um, because I can't draw with Narset. If they play any sort of spell, the only downside is Teferi minus, but then I have the Static Discharge or potentially both. Okay, to go hard cast shark here. Now we're now we're rocking. You are a mighty warrior. I can see. Just pass the turn here. I'm just here to counter sweepers or teferis. I can draw a bunch here. Static discharge will also just be burned to the face. I can also just prismari deal to draw a card. I don't want to anger because they could have lightning helix. Now we do the dance. Here, probably point most of the damage to their face. I'm going to Prismari two damage them and then draw two discard two. I think we do this now. So I have the choice here, I can deal, I think we just control this shark and then let them play from behind. Sweet, Magma Opus, uh, let's get rid of you two. Then I could oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Face. Doing this just to kind of get another instant. So they go Torrential Gearhawk. That's an easy lapse. Here they need to decide what they want to do. They have Veto in the yard, as well as Archmage Charm. Actually, that could be a Helix draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what I can do is I can set up a Magma Opus, and then have Archmage Charm back up. Might be trying to do the opus on me. So 
So this casts. So any copy of spells they cast then kills them. The premier Steam Vents deck. So what did we gather from this session? Um, the Taxes deck can be a bit of a problem, but we did draw kind of poorly in both of those. Um, they kind of got us there. They top decked uh, Kudro at the perfect moment uh, to be able to take our Niv out without giving us cards. Soul Guide Lantern. So there is some number of Gearhawk decks, which is fine. The Static Discharge were also fine. I do like Prismari just being able to dig. We might want to just try to find space maybe instead of the Shark Typhoons. Cut the Shark Typhoons. We also flooded out. We only have 25 lines. I think given our curve, that's reasonable. We do see a good number of cards, but we are discarding some as well. Uh, I could cut this, but then that leaves us pretty light in terms of delirium. But it's not unusual for us to discard lands as well. So I think what we would do let's I think the next version we try out would be with three expressive. See how that plays out, or maybe two expressives to start off and keep the soul guide. Because there's still a good number of graveyard decks, so I think it's a reasonable inclusion. This did come in handy. Niv did win games on its own as well. Do we maybe want to go to Nivs and then have the Gearhawk Opus plan as our primary? Um, we have a few more ways now to do that. Um, so these are things I'm going to keep trying out, see where we kind of settle on. Um, the shell's there. A one of these was nice that game. Had we not been taxed, this would have flashed back our sweeper, and we would have done a pretty good job there. Uh, but that's the deck. Let me know what you think. And as always, if you can, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.